Hi, I'm Terrence Springer, and we're back here at the Artist Cigars in Folsom at the Palladio. And I'm Kevin. Welcome to the Real Estate Lowdown. So today, Eric is going to tell us and talk to us about what the plume on a cigar means to a cigar. Eric? All right. Thanks, guys. Well, plume is actually something that cigar smokers get really excited about. The problem is somebody who doesn't know a lot about it thinks they're dealing with mold. Okay, so if you get cigar rookies, sometimes they'll come across it and they'll be like, yeah, they want to return this. Uh, it's got mold on it. And we're like, give it to me. No problem, we'll return it. <laughs> right. So with Plume, and I got a cigar actually that's got some Plume on it. It's a little bit hard to see. Can you see? Um, it actually looks a little bit kind of like a white, dusty powder. Here, let's take a look at that. Yeah, you kinda, see the white, dusty powder you here? You can't see it there, but. Pretty cool. Yeah, we had some that had more powder on it, but we I couldn't, smoked them. We couldn't wait for you guys, so we smoked them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's a white, it's a white powder, and what this really means is a cigar has been really aged really well. Um, generally, takes some time for this to happen, so we don't get it a lot in the humidor because cigars move over move so quickly. Uh, this was one that actually was sitting in a, a gift pack that we had a Romeo and Juliet a gift pack. That was, Ooh, it's Christmas, so it's been sitting up there for six months. And we just checked them out, and they were just covered in plume. Awesome. So, so the plume is really about the, the the sugars and the oils of the cigar, and it really kind of comes to the surface in the sort of the perfect humid, humidified environment, right? Wow. So when it's sitting and just has time, you probably find them in your humidor, right? Absolutely. Because you're sit for a long time, yes. right? So it's not it's not as common in a store environment because they, they move over so quickly. But uh, but we're really excited when they do happen, and generally they go very quickly. So what does it mean to the smoke? It means the cigar is it's perfection for a cigar. Honestly, it's it's kind of the the cigar is just going to be it's going to be moist and it's going to taste fresh. It's just going to have sort of the ultimate flavor. It's kind of like a wine that's just you're catching it at the wow. perfect age. Sure. Right. So plume is awesome, but again, a lot of people misjudge it for for mold. Mold will be a little greener, and the plume will be a little whiter, and just sort of, it's like a dust, and it just, it'll just just kind of dust right off nice and easily. Nice. This doesn't dust off very easily, it's kind of a green, don't smoke it. <laughs> that might be mold. Exactly. So, that's plume. Plume awesome. good, mold bad. Exactly. Well, that's compelling information, Eric. Thanks for sharing it with us. Well, it's time to sit back and it's chill time. So Terrence, the statistics for the time on the market is looking pretty good these days, but it's really all about how well the seller is showing the house. So in your opinion, what are the top three things a seller really needs to do before they list their home? Well, you know what they say, 47.5% of all statistics are made up on the spot. Just kidding. I know that's what I just did. <laughs> okay, well my top three recommendations for sellers are as follows. When you're going to list your house, first thing you should do is declutter. That means take away all of the things that are in your house that you don't absolutely need. That's first and foremost. Go to the Se dump. Absolutely. Second thing is, if your house hasn't been painted in as long as you've been alive, probably a good time to paint it. So sprucing up the outside and the inside, making sure that it matches, will help you greatly in the sale of your house. And lastly, and the most important thing is curb appeal. Because the first thing that people see when they drive up to your house is your curb appeal. If it, you have an overgrown jungle, no one is gonna wanna talk to you. So Kevin, what are your three recommendations for buyers right now? Well, you may not need a degree in the study of real estate to get this answer. What? <laughs> Homology. Okay. Homology. <laughs> okay, my recommendations are number one. Talk to a lender right away. Yeah, get your credit pulled. 75% uh, plus of credit reports are wrong. And so a lot of people want to wait until they're really ready to buy. But then the problem is it's kind of too late. Yeah. Uh, because if there's a problem on your credit report, it usually takes about 90 days to fix it. Mm. And so if you pulled it six months ahead, you're cool. Second thing is don't transfer your money. So if you're going to use a gift or if you're going to be an investor and you need somebody to put money in your account and yeah. you're going to do, you know, have money coming from outside, you want to have that money in for two months. I'd say those are the two biggies. Cash deposits can also be a toughie. So we want to not have a lot of cash deposits into the account. So what would you say your third is though? 
because those were the top two. I need three. <laughs> and the third one is talk to a great realtor. No, talk to a great mortgage broker. <laughs> that's your number third rule, people. <laughs> well, that's our top three recommendations for sellers and buyers. I'm Terrence Springer with Remax Gold. I want to thank the guys here at Artist Cigars here in the Palladio in Folsom for letting us hang out. Come on down, support them. They're a local business. They do great. They are very knowledgeable and know about cigars. That's for sure. Hey, I'm Kevin Fritz with Iron Point Mortgage. Stop by the next time you're here for the Real Estate Lowdown. So Terrence, the, tisti <laughs> the statistics. 47.5. <laughs>